What's going on YouTube is your boy Ron back with another video before we get started if you're new to the platform please subscribe oh geez I appreciate the love and support make sure y'all hitting that bell notification that way y'all know what I'm uploading and hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience also if you like the music that you hear the distro kid link is in the description support your boy support the music all right so this clip was sent to me by a subscriber shout out to miss lily um for y'all that don't know who that is um check out my live that's um titled why are mothers getting their son's passports um and she sent me this clip um of another hater and 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 and, and i love when the haters don't cam up or show their face because it tells you everything you want to know <laughs> I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm back with another triggering topic. Y'all asked for it, and here it is. Passport Bros Exposed, Part 2. Now, before I begin, let me hit y'all with a quick little disclaimer. No, I'm not mad that certain men have decided to go out of the country looking for their next victim. Not I'm completely cow. okay with that. No one's trying to keep you or hold you hostage. Go where you are celebrated, brother. The only issue I have with it is that with every large movement that certain types of black men create, like Save Yourself Black Man, the Kevin Samuelites, and even the Passport Bros, is centered around the dislike or disdain for black women. Somehow it becomes our fault, and it's because we are inadequate in some way that these men want to distance themselves. And that... Yep. Well, I know why your name is Trigger Thoughts, because you sound stupid. You stupid. Let me start off with this. You can't sit over here and say you don't care, go with your go where you're celebrated, and then sneak this at the same time. Bruh. What is that? Kevin Samuelites? Really? You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it. And then she wants to get mad because every every time we hear a movement that gets started, it's always it's always centered around the women aren't doing it. So here's my thing. If these men are going to other countries for women, then wouldn't it make sense to discuss what you're not getting from the women where you're from? Otherwise, why the hell am I leaving? You stupid. See what I mean? Do women not? Never mind. I, 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 I forgot. I forgot these modern women are allergic to logic. Let's keep it moving. And that is simply not the truth. I'm going to show y'all some clips and then I'll come back with my commentary. Brothers, I'm not, I'm not happy what I'm seeing in Latin America. Because when it starts in one place, it will spread to other places around the world. Women there are just so chill, so feminine and so beautiful for brothers to go out there and get. Foreign women are our last bastion of decent women. If, if they become ruined, it's over for dating for us in general. Now, I will admit, DR is probably done for. The problem with tricking is women will start to expect that. Just like in the West where women expect you to pay for everything, women expect you to be simping, women expect you to do this, do that, do that, because they're so used to the simp culture in the West. If that starts happening abroad, if Japanese women, if Costa Rican women, if all these type of different women that are originally feminine and for us, if they start expecting us to start doing things for them, brother, it's over. We get a passport, we go to another country, and we get a goddamn sister from another country that doesn't act like you, that doesn't think like you, and it's not as hateful as you are. Now I'm telling you guys, when I heard that nonsense, I was absolutely floored. How is it nonsense? Now what International Passport was referring to was probably the passport pookie thing where you got guys that are more on that act more like the guys that most of these women complain about like now they're getting hip to the movement so now 
You mean guys are worried about those kind of guys ruining, you know, ruining it for the guys that are actually, you know, trying to do right by this movement. And, you know, what homie just said right there, what's wrong with that? The culture in these other countries are different. They're raised to be traditional. They're raised to be wives. Y'all are not raised that way here. So why so why are you so floored by, by these men going to other countries and wanting that? See, that's what I find strange about women like her. Y'all want to sit over here and act like y'all exposing something. Nope. Y'all ain't exposing anything. If anything, you just exposing yourself. Let's keep it moving. Because what it told me is that a certain demographic of the black men in our community have serious issues. They preach that women, more specifically black women, don't want to see their faults. But what I see from this is that they clearly don't see theirs either. So you mean to tell me that you don't want the women in your own community and country to require anything from you? So in order to avoid that, you want to go to another country and get quote unquote feminine and submissive women. But that's really cold for women that you think you don't have to do anything for. You stupid. No, see, see, this is, I know exactly what she's doing. See, she tried to take international passport words and twist it. He's not saying that, and we're not saying that we, we're not going to do anything for these women. The issue is, is that y'all require more from men in the states and y'all are offering less that was pathetic how are you going to require more from me than you than, than y'all had how are y'all going to require more from men than y'all ever have before in a time where women are making more money than ever before independent than ever before but still require a man to go above and beyond when you nine times out of 10 is probably already smashing Pookie and Ray Ray. And now I'm supposed to come in with my cape and save the day. What? Get the French toast out of here. I'm supposed to put out all this effort while all these other guys gave you the bare minimum. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, see, she don't want to acknowledge that. See, it's, see, once again, it's always the man's fault. Bruh. Y'all kill me. I'm like, and, and the funny thing about it, most of these men that are that, that are that are in this passport movement are supposed to be the guys that they don't want. But here you are making a four minute post about this on TikTok. Keep it moving. And women that you think won't require much of you. Then, as you can see from the comments above, there are men that are frequent travelers abroad saying that the influx of black men visiting are ruining the women in those countries. They aren't being as feminine, sweet or submissive and they're being more guarded with black men. That's quite odd to me because aren't those the problems that you say American black women have? Hmm, food for thought. Maybe it's the behavior of black men here that are causing the attitude that you say that you're getting from black women, especially if it's happening in cultures that you aren't even around 24 seven. Well, I have more to say, but I don't want the video to be too long. So let me know if you want a part three and tell me your thoughts down below. Once again, I can tell, like I said before, isn't that the same problems that you're having here? I'm like, yeah, because those same guys that y'all are complaining about, now they're going to these other countries and they're causing the same issues. That's why. I'm like, where do you think the term passport pookie is coming from? Yeah, you know I mean, I've already I've already seen a couple guys in some of these um these passport groups like checking brothers for that. Because some of these brothers, like, they don't they don't know what they're doing before they go in these other countries, man. That's why I'm thinking about having a show on um, should men should men get sh should they take that crimson capsule before they start dating abroad? Because I've heard some of these stories about these brothers that don't know any better and they think they can act the same way they do here. But what they fail to realize is that you actually ruining it because those women aren't like the women here. Cause I'm like, cause if you start acting like that, they're, they're gonna, it, I'm telling you, bro, it's gonna spread like wildfire. They need, these passport pookies need to stop. No, and then all you doing is giving women like her, um, all you doing is giving women like her ammo. Because women like her feel entitled for men to just stay here and put up with this. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this, man. All right, if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. And hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.